In response to Hamas attacks against Israel, the United States has significantly ramped up its military assistance to Israel. Within hours of the initial attacks by Hamas, the U.S. began mobilizing warships and aircraft to the region. The United States is also providing Israel with a range of weapons and ammunition. A second U.S. carrier strike group, led by the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, is set to depart from Norfolk, Virginia, adding to the already present USS Gerald R. Ford carrier strike group near Israel. The U.S. is providing a variety of munitions and weapons systems to Israel. Among these are Iron Dome interceptors, designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells. Manufactured by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries, these interceptors have a range of up to 70 kilometers and can travel at speeds of Mach 2. Additionally, the U.S. is supplying small-diameter bombs, SDB, precision-guided glide bombs manufactured by Boeing, with a range of over 60 nautical miles and a weight of about 285 pounds. Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM, kits are also being sent, which convert unguided bombs into all-weather smart munitions. These kits, also manufactured by Boeing, include a GPS-aided inertial navigation system and tail fins for guidance. Special Operations Forces are assisting Israel's military with planning and intelligence, although they have not been tasked with hostage rescue. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is expected to arrive in Israel to discuss further assistance. The U.S. is also expediting weapons orders by Israel that were already in the pipeline, including munitions for Israel's Iron Dome air defense system. As reported by Navy Recognition Editorial Team on October 13, 2023, the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group provides a host of options, including F-18 fighter jets capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. These jets, manufactured by Boeing, can reach speeds of Mach 1.8 and have a range of 1,275 nautical miles. The carrier also carries E-2 Hawkeye surveillance planes, which are airborne early warning and control. AEWNC aircraft with a range of more than 1,500 nautical miles and speeds exceeding 300 knots. Manufactured by Northrop Grumman, these planes are recognizable by their 24-foot diameter disc-shaped radar and provide early warnings on missile launches, conduct surveillance, and manage airspace. The U.S. military's primary mission is to establish a force presence that deters Hezbollah, Iran, or others from taking advantage of the situation, but the forces are capable of more than that. The U.S. Air Force is also bolstering A-10, F-15, and F-16 squadrons at bases throughout the Middle East, with more to be added if needed. The British government has also announced its support for Israel, deploying patrol and surveillance aircraft as well as two Royal Navy ships to the eastern Mediterranean. This move aims to track threats to regional stability such as the transfer of weapons to terrorist groups, according to the BBC. The US, which already provides nearly $4 billion of military aid per year to Israel, is thus making a significant commitment to support its ally in the current conflict. This comes after Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby stated on October 11, 2023, that the Eisenhower and its strike group would be available if needed in the region. The deployment is particularly noteworthy given the ongoing conflict and the presence of another U.S. aircraft carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford, already in the Mediterranean. The decisions made in the coming days will have far-reaching implications, not just for the Israel-Hamas conflict, but for the broader geopolitical landscape in the Middle East.